the Son and the Holy Spirit, we give you the glory and honor for giving us this day by your power and by your might. Lord, we thank you for the protection and guidance, Spirit of God, our Lord, our rock and our shield, our salvation be exalted this morning. Mighty Holy Spirit, I am an empty vessel that you can use and speak through me this morning. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. I welcome each and every one on Prophet Kenneu listeners to be blessed in the name of the Father and on the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This morning, I'm just a vessel that God can use. And the title of the message is Faith in God. Shall we read the Bible in Mark 11 and the verse is 22. So Jesus answered and said, to them, have faith in God. Beloved, this is Jesus telling us to have faith in God is to trust God. Faith in God is a trust that arises our trustworthy, honesty, and reality. Let us grow in the Lord. The inner worries, like fear, doubt, does not give a chance to faith, as faith is an act. Faith is God's love, which is everlasting to his kingdom. Hallelujah. He keeps his word, and the word is faith. Hallelujah. Our second reading is taken from Romans, and the verse is 10, 8, Romans 10, 8. And I read, Romans 10, 8 says, but what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart, that is the word of God, which preach, which we preach. Beloved, the faith is in our hearts. So Romans 10, 8 is telling us, faith has an altar, which is our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as children of the Most High God. Let us cry unto him to increase our faith, as he alone is worthy to be praised. And our comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, our friend, our helper, our teacher, will see as true. Beloved, the disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ did ask an increase in faith. So why can't you and I, as the children of Most High God, do the same thing? We need an unshakable faith, like Abraham. And shall we see something in, in Hebrew, 11 and the verse is 8. But Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place he will receive an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Hallelujah. Beloved, Abraham obeyed God. That is obedience to the Father. And that is the the heart was set on God's command. Two, the inheritance is given, that is the blessing from him. And that is everlasting from generation to generation. And the third, not knowing where Abraham was going, it was a trust and confidence in the Lord. So God called him. So is our faith like Abraham? This is a question for all of us that we must ask ourselves. Hallelujah. Faith has an altar and it's our Lord Jesus Christ, the King. Faith is perfecting acts that you must claim it. 
Faith is trustworthy. Faith strengthens our thoughts. As faith is power, as faith is power force that destroys the works of the enemy and his demons. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, break every yoke. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians says, we walk by faith, not by sight. That is the word of God in Christ. Jesus is the author of faith. Citizens of heaven, we can lift our eyes upon the Lord and the blessing works of his faith begin in us. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Sin like unbelief does twist our mind to not to believe and all are the works of the evil one, Satan, the tempter. Faith is nine gift of the Holy Spirit as it is a divine plan that opens every door for the children to enter in it. Jesus is telling us this morning in John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. Oh, what a mighty God. He is the king. He is the author of our life. So this morning, I have a question for all of us that is listening on this Prophet Kenewu platform. Is our faith like Abraham's faith? Is our faith, is it a waving faith? Is our faith a small faith? Oh, we need to increase our faith like Abraham. Beloved, faith is given as we act upon it. So we need the unshakable faith. Let us seek God and the Holy Ghost will see us through with unshakable faith like Abraham. Beloved in Christ, we need the unshakable faith to do the work of God. And with God, all things are possible. So beloved, let us see the true faith, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. We depend upon him. He moves our being. We do everything through faith. So this morning, I have one more song to say. Unto the Lord, may his glory be upon us. I want to sing a song to thank our maker, our Lord Jesus Christ. And the song goes like this. Yina ye, onu no bo wo, o yina yo, da yina, o yina yo. Onu no bo wo, o yina yo, o da yina, da nasio. Onu no bo wo. Ohinie danasio, da nina, o danasio, onu no bo wo, o danasio, o da nina, tuntuno, onu no bo wo, o tuntuno, da nina. O tun tun wo, o nu na ba wo, tun tun o da ni na. May He bless us this morning. May our faith increase. He is a mighty Jehovah, the one who is in control. Without Him, there is nothing we can do. We give Him all the glory for this day that you and I, we are alive and listening to Prophet Kenewu TV and the word that came, he said, we should believe. He know what he is telling us. With him, all things are possible. He is yesterday, today, and forever. 
So beloved, what our Lord is saying is surely true. We need increase in faith. The unshakable faith which Abraham had. So beloved, we have to seek our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to let Holy Spirit help us so that our increase will be unshakable. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor for a moment like this. Who are we? We are nothing before him. We are a filthy clay, but it is his glory that we are alive. It is his mercy that we live. So we thank him for his mercy. As I'm bringing the message to the end, may God Almighty Jehovah, the Most High God, bless his message and bless Prophet Kenewu and the family and the listeners who are listening to Prophet Kenewu TV. May they all be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us ask the Holy Spirit, as he is, has nine gifts, and one of them is faith. Faith has a power to make us to know God, what God wants us to be. We must be ready to step into the plan and believe his way. We give him all the glory and honor. May his name be praised forever and forever, O oh God. Your word is settled. We thank you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord, for what you have done for us today through your message, the message of faith. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.